perfect timing and just the small misstep ends up dropping Isaiah out of the tournament after such a phenomenal run and doorstop is going to keep going into the loser's side. But we got another wonderful story that we have to continue as to well. To figure out doorstop's opponent. Oh, true, actually, yeah, it's the mm -hmm. same story. What am I? But <laughs> we got Comet coming back to the stream setup, going up against Anthony isn't cool, and this is back to Team Here's Fundies. Here to to be referred to as Anthony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to Team <laughs> Fundies, but the Spacey's just a little different. It's going to be the Fox from Comet and the Cloud from Anthony, and they're going to pretty much just run at each other, hit each other with some big moves and some great combos. We're going to see some similarities, too, from the Anthony Danny set, but it will be a very different flavor with all of that aggression that we are used to seeing from mm -hmm. uh, What Basically, this matchup is going to be defined by, and you can laugh and say most of Smash Ultimate is this way, but just throwing out a lot of moves that are hard to punish. Right. That's, you know, Fox is not going to have anything that's, like, worse than, what, like, uh, minus five? Right. <laughs> right, and Cloud's going to have nothing that's worse than that, really, either, because he's going to be throwing out back air and forwarder. You can't really whiff punish that, so it's going to be all about who's initiating better, I feel like. Yeah, so far, we had a really nice opening from Comet, but Anthony all weekend has been getting these vertical combos that are just so good. Up air, up air, up air, and the cross Ooh. slash off the side, almost taking it. Should be it right here, but no, good angle from Comet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Comet's recoveries, he is so good at those mix-ups. That's how you right. know that he's one of those top, you know, top level, high level Fox players is because he doesn't just get edge guarded for free. He's maneuvering really well. Missed the turnaround into the back here though. After that late dash attack, definitely could have closed out the stock if the spacing was right, but Anthony will get to breathe a little more life into this first stock of the set. Not trying to punish the cross up, it does take center stage very intelligently because it could just lead to that first stock for him. A little overcommit right there. Comet strikes first blood. All right, though, coming right off of that platform with a big forward air to try and make something happen. But these are those combos we love to see Comet already putting together 50% and counting. I love that, Ooh. the tech reaction, and almost got the down smash too. Love that recognition from Anthony, though, to go for that up air and going, okay, I've got my double jump, it'll be fine. Let me get my free damage, hit the fox away, right, right. then get back to ledge. And, you know, Comet definitely working with a lot of extra credit, but Cloud can definitely turn that around quick. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some use of the limit. It's gonna be the climb hazard here. Gonna have to use it up right there. Going for the late dash deck, which we have seen a lot. So good stuff from Anthony to sneak a roll in, which normally could be very dangerous. But oh, hold on, big damage. Man, even just not like the best hit of that forward are still leading into some more damage and getting that box off stage. So you have to be so careful, but Comet, the spacing and the reaction time, that up smash. Sometimes some foxes are up smashers and some of them aren't. Comet's a bit of an up smash. Yeah. <laughs> Ask what kind of fox it is, you know? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, it's a combo fox Ooh, or up smash God. fox? Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. It's like you I can never even left. It, baby. <laughs> All right. The cross slash, though, slows it down. And because of the start tail, we have extra time to charge for limit. So this could still happen here. But I got to say, Comet is coming in hot right now. It's going to be up to Anthony to cool him off. Ooh. Pun not intended. No, it's never intended. <laughs> They're the words. You know, when you put so many words in your tag, you right, know, right. it's bound to happen at I some point. I said, is it one? So you're going to call me out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Ooh, yeah. We've seen yes. a lot of those limit moves go the wrong way in Comet. Yeah. We've seen this so many times, calling out double jumps. He hit me with that like 95 <laughs> times right. when we were playing Friendlies earlier. And it is no different in tournament. If you are trying to jump to get away from Fox, he's going to be right there to match you. Right. You don't want to face the back airs because we've seen so many of those, of course, Comet really good at timing them when you're stuck on the ledge or just off the ledge. So your main thought, right? Your first thought in the lizard brain of yours is, well, I gotta get back to center stage. So you jump in to center stage and Comet has it scouted out. Look, they're all I'm over the I'm shocked place. that this guy is still going. Like, this is dedication. No, there's like, they have agents everywhere. Every corner <laughs> of the venue, there's someone doing this. I thought they were just drove hands. They, they might just be passionate smash enjoyers. Honestly. All right, game number two, small battlefield. Uh, Break the targets is playing, which I've mentioned this to you before, but throws me for a loop because it's my phone ringtone, and I, I, I now I no longer have like a, I wouldn't call it a, I, that I don't have a positive response to the song anymore, but I certainly have a response. Right, right. That's <laughs> like you know you set your favorite song as your alarm, and then all of a sudden you have a new favorite song. Very yeah, soon. it's just yeah. like don't. Here's some sage advice right. for you, youngsters. Don't do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
do some of that. Do what both of these players have been doing. Anthony, really nice out of the disadvantage so far, but Colin also building up a ton Ooh. of damage. And now with the cloud off stage, that limit is certainly gone. I love the spot that he burned Ooh. it to to make sure that hitbox, the hitbox dips through the stage. Right, right. Now evens up pretty much that back air. Maybe trying to parry it too with the shield drop just a little bit. Good stuff to make it back. Wow. And that was such a good punish on the re-grab. That's why you've got to time that as Cloud. You got to be grabbing the ledge and then throw out that downer drift on stage with it so that you've got that sweet spot out at just the right moment. Because otherwise, those reversals can happen even when it's Fox. So Comet now working with the lead once again. Yep. Anthony definitely trying to make it happen though. Forward tilt is going to go coast to coast. Does have a jump here. It's a really good mix up on the mm. dash stack. It's going to cover pretty much most of the angles that you use to make it back. Uh, against Cloud, the, the lucky recovery is not going <laughs> to. Not always the whoa mix ups. They both that, got that mixed was up. that was literally the Rashid where he yeah. shouts the mix up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> literally just on top of you and then lands right back on the ground. But that being said, 50 damage from that small opening from Anthony is really good. Uh oh, that yeah. was not what you wanted to do. A small misstep off the ledge. Anthony shaking the head. Back to the last stock here in game two. And I love Comet compensating, not using the shield in those moments where he wants to play defense because it's been beaten down so hard. Instead, relying on some just really solid spacing and that great movement of Fox. And look at that, just bouncing off the platform like a rubber ball and immediately into a neutral air as well, but couldn't get anything big started. Anthony with a reversal. <laughs> By the way, I want to say, I call Comet an up smasher. Anthony is like an up smasher. He should yeah, play Fox uh, and be right, an up smasher. Right, like. <laughs> It's usually good anti-air, and it, I mean, okay, that was very smart. Nice. From certain ranges, it doesn't have that much cooldown. You can kind of, you know, get back to it, but Kama is just so quick with it right now. Forward air going to break it up. Down to last stock here. See if we can make something happen with the limit, too. Even just the extra stats. Anthony is so good at using him for up airs, but the blade beam gets reflected. This is looking tough right now. Honestly, Comet could have comboed that into an up smash or something if he hadn't rolled, but it's so hard because you become immediately actionable after the shine. Forget what I'm saying. Comet says, I don't need any flashy combos. I got what I needed, and I'm letting that up smash rip. We're both up smashers. Yeah. So start getting used to seeing that yellow stick get flicked upwards. <laughs> and there the crowd goes as they sprint over to get into the frame of the other camera. They are saying... Is that that looks like a cloud up air chant? Actually, I, I feel know? like I'm <laughs> crossing a picket line by being on stage right now. Like, <laughs> I feel like there's a protest or something going on. Oh, no, that is the Anthony chant. So that is the cloud up air. In fact, we're gonna need to see some more of those as we get into the next game. But it's gonna be breaking the targets on a small battlefield one more time. Yeah, still, I mean, I think a, not a bad stage for Cloud in this matchup. I think that, I mean, for the most part, you just have to really stop Comet from overwhelming you. But that's what Fox does. He just right. throws out hitboxes, gets in your face before you've been, even had the chance to blink. You're at 98%. Wow, and honestly, that back air would not have killed, there, obviously. But it would have sent a message to over 100 damage unanswered. Comet is just coming out of the gates, Ooh. swinging right now. I love that. What yeah, forward air into the up tilt. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Ooh, that Are angle. you dead? Wow, barely touches the ledge, but the up smash will take it. Comet is picking all the right options right now. Looking so confident, too. Anthony getting that Fox back into the corner. Not able to keep him there, going for that scoop, but Comet not doing that high recovery. We've already seen the Joey Aldama fail one time, so not going to see it again. Whoa. Trying to take center stage, and yeah, Comet's just not leaving himself open. Like, it is not just a, a clean and simple get in there and throw out an aerial and not quite so easy to grab the ledge either apparently right right but already tagging on some damage i like that route from anthony and trying to utilize the limit to get some of these up air strings going but Ooh. it looks like it's comet show that should be it oh no going for the extension i uh, you know what honestly sometimes when you're cooking you're cooking yeah if, no, if no. you're if you can't cook when you're up 2-0 then when's right, the right, right time to turn on the heat down smash will do it Climb Hazard, usually so good out of shield, but if you miss it, it is a pretty big commitment right there. Anthony signaturely comes down swinging. Ooh. Unbelievable start. Love the idea to go with that back air, but was not able to get it out fast enough. Anthony needs to get this game to stay alive, otherwise the bracket run ends and Comet will move on. And he is moving up oh. with this damage, 72. Better watch oh. your feet, because that up smash could end it quick like. That was so smart, too, to go with the down air to extend it to, beats out the spot dodge, oh. the limit <laughs> climb hazard, right off the top. Calling out that roll. We've seen it one too many times with that limit active. Anthony knows how his opponents want to play 
play around him when that limit's charged up, and he said, I've had enough of that. Ooh, called out the roll again. I think we're onto something here. Anthony playing just a bit different. The cross slash going to stay shielded. Big back air, and the limit is on deck as well. Forward air, though, leading into Ooh. the back air. So well positioned there from Comet. The Pele sending him off stage, but does not quite find the goal post. So we're going to reset it, throw the ball back in, give it to the goalie, whatever you got. Looks like he's still trying to aim for that goal. The back airs are lining up. Gets a grab, though, to catch that dash in. That was very smart. No big punish on the landing. I love that, trying to catch the jump with the forward tilt. Looks like they're both swinging right now, but Anthony trying to play it safe. Big damage from the cross slash. And a Ooh. big forward tilt as well. The down tilt though, the wrong way. The wrong way. We've seen that a couple times from Anthony. Just oh. goes for like those slick turnarounds, but does not quite find it. Those precise stick movements can be tough. Mixing up the cross slash right back to the ledge nearly. Scared himself off stage, but he knows that Comet just needs a straight hit to end this. Big now that's true for Anthony though. The limit. The cross slash doesn't do it. The down no. doesn't either. Not like that, going for the sweet spot, but that down air, you only get one or two frames with it and could not find it. Again, we talked about it. Comet mixes up those recoveries really well, and in the end, that guy right there, it was the deciding factor for him. Yeah, that was just a phenomenal show. I really loved what I was starting to see from Anthony at the end there. I think if we saw some of that throughout the rest of the set, it would have been a different result, surely, but it's just been the Comet show. Tons of momentum going into each and every game, each and every set. And I know that we're going to see some more phenomenal matches 